Good day, folks. Welcome to MB Wildman Channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something a little different. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of those outdoor survival type tips that uh, that really come in handy for the hunter or the trapper out there, especially if you're out on the long line or you're out in long long days and uh, lots going on. Uh, so, on today's video, we're going to talk specifically about uh, how to make pine needle tea and why that's a benefit to you and why that's good. So, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wildman channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, turn on that bell so that you can notify when we upload new content. We don't want you to miss out on any videos. And uh, as always, we're looking for questions, comments, you know, concerns, feedback, whatever you got. I'd uh, love to hear from you here on the channel. So, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below, and we'll get back to you on those as soon as we possibly can. So today we're talking about pine needle tea and why that's important, uh, why every trapper, why every hunter, every outdoors person uh, should be able to uh, identify and make pine needle tea. It's a great drink uh, for outside, one that you can make on your own, and uh, real quick, simple, easy to do. So why are we talking about tea? Why are we talking about pine needle tea out here, okay? So the main reason that I make pine needle tea and what I use, for, use it for uh, is to help with a sore throat. Uh, out on the line or out hunting, you know, whatever, and, and inevitably outside a lot, uh, especially in the cooler, you know, fall, winter time, and you end up with a, a fight in a cold or you got a bit of a sore throat or whatever, it can really be nagging. Uh, pine needle tea is a great remedy for that. It's super high in vitamin C, uh, and, which helps your immune system, and it's also got lots of vitamin A, which is also helpful. Uh, but my main reason is that uh, to drink a cup of vitamin, uh, of, uh, to drink <laughs> vitamins, yeah, drink a cup of vitamins, ooh, Drink a cup of pine needle tea uh, really helps with a sore throat, uh, and it helps to calm that down, less coughing, okay? You don't want to be up in a tree stand coughing and hacking away, right? Scaring game. And uh, a pine needle tea, just keep some of that around or make some of it, you know, out on the line, is, uh, is a great remedy for that. So anyway, stick with me here, and I'll just go through the process of picking the right type of pine needles and uh, how to make that into a great cup of tea. All right, so first things first, you're going to want to identify a nice young pine tree, okay? And by nice young pine, what I'm talking about is a tree that's, you know, between six and eight feet tall or smaller. Uh, you know, down here, right, uh, three, four feet is actually really good too. So the younger the pine, the better. Uh, jack pine is fine. White pine is fine. Uh, most anything that grows in New Brunswick is good. Uh, if, if it's got the nice, long, long needles, right, with the brown at the base, then that's the right kind of pine. Okay, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Um, once you identify a nice young pine tree, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to collect probably a handful, maybe a cup or so, uh, of the pine needles from the tree. Now, try to avoid needles right at the base of the tree, just because they end up being a little bit, a little bit more bitter. So the fresher the needles, as in the newer they were grown on the tree, uh, the better off you are. So I like to kind of get up near the top. To, you know, to get my to get my pine needles. Okay, now when you break these off, when you strip these from the tree, what you're going to find uh, is you're going to find that that they. What you want to do, you want to make sure that you don't break the needle off. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, I don't want you to break the needle off. What I want you to do is pull it off so that it has this brown brown part left on it. Right there, or the brown part sometimes stays on the tree, and you end up with just this little, little very fine light green shoot um, on the pine needle. That's important, okay? That's going to release a lot of the flavor and a lot of the the benefit for this is going to be through right through this uh, right through that little root, okay? So just make sure that when you pull these off, try not to break the needle. Try to come up with the whole needle, okay? That's probably enough, right? We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna use about a little handful like that for our uh, for our tea. This will make this will make a pretty good you know kind of pot like coffee pot size uh, bunch of tea, which is great. The other thing you'll notice I did right there is uh, I, I selected the needles off some different branches of the tree. Don't pull all the needles off the same branch just for the health of the tree. You know uh, I don't think you can do it any harm by stripping a bunch of needles off the same branch. But there's no all right, reason. guys. Once I get my pine needles uh, from the tree. And uh, the only thing that you need to do to these to really kind of get them ready is you'll notice when you pull them off the tree that a lot of them have uh, a lot of them have brown where they attach to the tree branch. And what you want to do is you just want to take and scuff that off, okay? You don't, but you don't want to get rid of this tender part right here, okay? So underneath the brown part is a real tender part that releases a lot of the good stuff that, that, that helps out with pine needle tea, what makes it so good. So you want to keep that 
The idea here is that you're going to peel off, let me, see, let me show you here, you're going to peel off the brown parts right here and you're going to leave these nice tender little shoots right here. Okay? So once that's done, all you have to do is I break these in half. The only reason I break them is to give another access point, right, for the stuff to the stuff to seep out into the water. So basically, I got my pine needle and I got my teapot right here. Okay, I got my nice outdoor teapot, and I'm gonna make sure I take the brown parts. Just gonna all you have to do is just rub them with your hand; they come right off. So you just gotta kind of put your nail in there and scrape just a just a touch, and then you're gonna come off just like that. Okay. When they do, pop them in the, pop them in your kettle. Okay, that's done. You've got, uh, you got your pine needles. You picked them nice and fresh off a of young pine. Got the ends of them clean, broke them in half. Put them in the coffee pot, or put, put them in the kettle. Add yourself some water. Make sure you take your plastic out of the woods with you. That's important. Okay. On to the campfire to boil. Okay, guys, my water's all boiled. And uh, once you boil your water, just let it boil for, you know, five, ten minutes. Ten is, ten is lots. Uh, that really lets the good stuff from inside those pine needles get out into the water and out into your tea. And once that's done, all I do, I got my trusty, trusty cup. And that kettle came, uh, I actually got that at Canadian Tire, but that, that kettle came with a, kind of one of those coffee filter perk things in it. I like to keep this out. It gives me a great filter for my coffee cup. So when I pour, when I pour my tea into my cup. I just don't want any little, you know, I don't want any of the little bits and pieces of the pine needles in there. I like it. I like it just to be nice and smooth. So anyway, it's been boiling uh, for close to 10 minutes now. I'm going to take it off the fire and uh, let it steep for a couple of minutes. And then I'll go ahead and pour myself a nice cup of tea. There we are. Notice it turns a little bit brown, so that's okay. It's not uh, it's not brown brown like like you know um, like Tatley tea would be or Earl Grey, uh, but it is uh, it is a kind of a yellowish brown color. It's got a nice smell to it. It's got a really nice flavor. Pine needle tea can't beat it. Anyway, hope this is something you can use out on your line. Hope this helps you out a little bit. And uh, if nothing else, give it a try. It's super good for you. And uh, anyway, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.